Hi Lighthouse, hope you're all doing okay. I don't know about you but I was really disappointed when we found out that we couldn't meet um, in the parish centre this month in November because we're going into another lockdown. But never mind, one day we will meet again. And just in the meantime we're going to have to learn to trust God a little bit more as we deal with all the uncertain times with all our plans being cancelled. Anyway, Today, what I wanted to remind you all about was Jesus being our good shepherd. And you know, Jesus is not just any shepherd, but he's a good shepherd. And when the Bible talks about Jesus being a shepherd, he talks about us being his sheep. So I brought my little sheep here to show you today. Now then, a good shepherd will look after his sheep, won't he? And he'll take care of them and he'll lead them to water so they can have a good little drink. He's enjoying that. And he'll make sure that they have lots of nice green fields so they can have a good munch on the grass as well, won't he? That's what a good shepherd does. Now, I don't know if you remember, uh, quite a few months ago now, we challenged you to learn Psalm 23. And this is a famous psalm in the Bible written by King David. He was the one who killed Goliath. You remember that story? Anyway, Psalm 23 talks about Jesus being our good shepherd. And as well as him providing for his sheep, he also talks about looking after everybody in difficult times. And it says that God is always with us. So God's with us now in the difficult times that we're living in. And that's a fact that's just not going to change. And Jesus tells us in Psalm 23 to not be afraid. So if you can imagine being a sheep munching away in a field and then a, like a big scary bear Oh, my big scary bear here comes along and tries to tries to eat it all up you know it says that Jesus who was a good shepherd would even die to protect the sheep from the scary bear that's how much Jesus loves us and we know because we can read the bible and find out what happened that Jesus died on the cross didn't he and he died there so we could live our lives knowing the light of God's love and goodness forever and we know that Jesus died, but he also rose again, didn't he? It's alive today. So if we carry on reading Psalm 23, we will read at the end that God wants to bless us with so many good things. In fact, it says that his goodness and love will chase us down for the rest of our lives, which is an amazing thing. So don't forget that's how much God loves you today and always. Why don't you go away now and read Psalm 23 today or perhaps tonight and try and learn it once again. So remember, Jesus is our good shepherd and he is with you wherever you go this week. See you later.